Hi everyone, it's Anya here. I'm back with another video for Ophelia Crafts. So today we're going to make a fairly simple card where we are actually doing lots of stamping. And isn't that what we're all about? I thought so. Okay, so we're using the Celebration Lotus Blossom stamp set. This stamp set is only available uh, between January 2015 and March 2015. If you buy from the Spring Summer Catalogue or from the Annual Catalogue for an amount of £45 you are able to choose free product for every £45 you spend from this catalogue. So this catalogue basically has lots of nice goodies in which are free. So there is no price on them even. Um, so you can choose some things, for example this Lotus Blossom stamp set which is free <coughs> if you buy £45 worth of materials from the other catalogues with the prices on of course. So today as I said we are going to make a simple card so this card is the one that we're going to make it's crumb cake with um, a panel with the flowers and the sentiment just on top of there and I've even just stamped on the inside like that now this I have another video explaining exactly how to do this so you might want to have a look at that as well I will do this today as well don't worry and here on the side we're going to decorate so we have so it looks like it's um, a bigger a bigger panel of stamped images so we are using like I said Lotus Blossom we are using rich razzleberry and pear pizzazz so let's get started let's get started with the base of our card we are going to do the stamping with the full image the stem we're going to ink it up and we're just going to stamp on the side like this I'm going to take this one off I thought it would be handy to have that on but actually and you can stamp once and stamp again to give it a little bit more interest. It doesn't matter how far you come here, you're only going to see that part there. So you go all along the side. Yep, I think that's it. Okay. And let's put that to the side. Then we are going to take the thank you and we're going to do the same thing. Now, don't always put it in the same position. Right, so make it look like you've you've stamped it consecutively behind one another. See, so that so it doesn't always end in the same letter. Otherwise that's boring. So we just keep going until we fill the page. There we go. So let's have a look to see that actually this is going to cover it all. Yeah. And am I in here? No, I think that's okay. I think that's that's fine. Right, okay, so this is ready, the front is ready. Then we'll have to do the inside. And I'm going to put thank you in the middle there. There we go. Now, rich razzleberry. These are, you have to stamp them in a particular order. So we start with this one and we are going to put a little dot. And I'm just going, oh, actually there's a little dot there. So I'm just going to, it's just something in the paper. So I'm going to point my arrow towards that little dot there. And the second one, you stamp it off and you point again to that little dot, sort of aligning it. There we go. And the third one, oh, stamp off twice. And once again, we point the little dot. Oh, it's not on my stamp pad. Point the little dot and you go over it again. So we have our flower for the inside. So our base is ready. Let's now go on to our card here. 
in my original I want to just keep an eye on that because I had one flower going that way one that way so let's try and do this again so we have one flower going up like that and one flower going off the side like this there we go and mm, maybe is that that's a bit low let's <laughs> let's start again okay let's put the flowers a little bit higher this time I think that's better and one off to the side there okay now the second one now did you notice I haven't put the point so I'm going to have to be very careful here and line up the way I think now that's not exactly right now the thing is if you can lean over it does make a difference so I'm just going to try and if you can look at it from above it's much better but having said that it doesn't really matter you can I mean not every flower is, 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 is going to be the same so it's not like it's going to be you know you, it's not like you're going to have to bin it worst comes to the worst it's just going oh yeah I went off completely there so you do have to let's let's try and do this one properly um, see it's easier if you can lean over there we go that's better hmm I'm not completely enamored with these so I'm going to try and save them by taking number two and going over them again so we've got full strength stamping going on now and hopefully that will bring out yeah see that's better I'm liking that that will bring out a bit of more more of um, detail in there oh am I right? yeah there we go I like that better right so there is there are ways around it but like I said it is so much easier if you're actually <laughs> can lean over and you don't bring your head into the camera okay all right so let's do the stem the stem we stamp off the full image and we put that down of course with a little bit of greenery in there always something that goes wrong with I'm doing a tutorial isn't there dear me well I'm not going to be putting this card together in the end I don't think I'll just finish this and I'll make another one without those lines on to put on the card okay so this one you stamp straight off the ink pad so no stamping off there we go so we have a two-tone image there right so uh, where are we at yes let's put the sentiment on obviously this block is too big but that's the only one I had left as I need lots of blocks for the flower so we're going to put that one right there okay so I think we are there we've done the base of our card very simple no inside just onto the crumb cake this one onto the crumb cake as well and then we are going to put this there but I'm not going to do that because I had a little accident there I think I'll just uh, have to redo it after the video and hopefully then I'll have two nice cards thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a nice day thank you bye <laughs>